back YouTube. So today I'm going to go into my Delta 14 inch blade uh, bandsaw. So for my apprentices, we're going to go over the parts of the bandsaw, we're going to go over the internal components, and then I'm going to break this video into some tips and tricks as well with some safety for your project. All right? So starting with this bandsaw, all right? Right here is the blade guard adjustment knob. And what that does is it allows me to raise and lower this guard to give me more protection depending on my workpiece. So again, if I'm working with thinner stock, I want it farther down. And if I'm working with thicker stock, I want it a little higher up, depending on what kind of cuts I'm making. Right? The nice thing about a bandsaw is that I can do cross cuts, I can do ripping, I can do resawing, and I can do curve cuts. Right? But that all depends on the size of the blade itself. And right now, I have a very thin blade, which is designed to allow me to do those kind of cuts. All right, so that's the blade height, blade guard adjustment knob. All right, right here is the blade. All right, and one thing I'm going to show is what makes it special compared to any other cutting machine that I have here is it runs on a band. So between these two wheels, this blade is constantly pushing downward as it's cutting. All right. The other thing too is this allows me to cut organic geometry. So underneath the blade we have the table and what's nice about this table is that it does have a miter slot which allows us to run a miter gauge to cut for cross cuts or any other types of specialty jigs. What's also nice is underneath I can also tilt the bandsaw table to cut on an angle as well and this is useful for cutting uh, tapers, miters, uh, you can also use it for dovetailing. Moving along, we have our on-off switch. All right, so those are the, the, the basic anatomy parts. Now getting more specific here, all right, we have our top reel and our feeder wheel. So down here, this wheel is fed by a pulley and that drives this bandsaw as it's cut, all right? And then I'm going to zoom in for this part. So let's come down. So here are my two guy, top guides and a bearing in the back. And again, this holds the blade, pinches it, so that as it's going, it doesn't flex too much on me and allows me to get a straighter cut. Now, underneath, this is something people forget, when you're tuning your guides, there'll be a top and a bottom, all right? Now, when it comes to safety for the bandsaw, I'm gonna zoom on back here for a second. All right. Obviously, you need to follow the rule of finger to elbow, there should be nothing. No hanging jewelry, nothing. Because again, this blade, since it's going downward, anything that's hanging will snack. Now. Other safeties, if I'm cutting a 3 4 thick stock, I do not want my blade guard to be all the way up here. So what I want to do is I want to adjust it and bring it down so it's just about a quarter of an inch above my workpiece. All right. Next, when I'm cutting, I don't want any of my digits or my arm running perpendicular to the blade as I'm cutting. All right. That would yield in a very serious injury. So when I am cutting, I want both hands on the outside of the cut. If I'm cutting something very thin like this, I want both hands on the opposite side, or you can use a miter gauge to cut that. All right? You should never put your fingers inside this, what we call throat plate zone. Your fingers should never come in contact with this blade. Now you can come behind here and finish a cut, but you can never approach the blade perpendicular, All right? So what that looks like, approach nice and slow. Now I'm gonna turn my cut, and as I'm turning, I'm pushing with this hand here, and I'm pulling with the opposite. Now I'm gonna switch hands.
and I could cut an arch out of that. Now, if I want to cut something a lot sharper, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut what we call relief cuts. And then let's just say I want to do a really sharp cut. That's how I can get a way around it. Now, normally I don't like to show this, but when you pinch the blade, it makes that terrible noise. What that means is when you're cutting, if you turn too quickly and you pinch the blade, you're, number one, you're not going to finish your cut, and number two, you're actually hurting the blade. So again, when you're cutting, all right, you should do relief cuts in order to allow for the bandsaw to finish its cut. Now, how does this translate for us in our project? 